解释一下无人机遇到的反制。现在就有些问题，我们。是不是公安的监管系统把它关掉？快走，快走。然后我我全部打下来了。那边公安的把关了，干扰机关掉，要不所有的无人机都被打下来了。刚才的还有上面还有别人的吗？不是公安的，哦，不知道谁的啊，那就那要是我们自己的。So what you just witnessed there was hundreds of drones falling from the sky in China during an event which was a planned fireworks art display event uh, somewhere in the way in the east of China. And uh, there's lots of claims that there was jamming going on. In fact, there's some translation which I've seen where someone shouting over the tannoy, please turn off the jamming device. But I know I've been looking at this video for a couple of days now and many people have sent this video to me. I think I've had over a hundred people sending me this video to, to have a look at it and thank you all. After close inspection and having really looked at this video, I don't think that there's jamming on this video and I think that it's something else and we're going to look at the cause of this incident now. Hi everyone, Stephen from The Flyby Guys, it's good to see you again and we're talking about a very special, unique but very, very tragic event that happened in China over the weekend. And that was, uh, seems to have been an art festival uh, where a famous artist was doing something with fireworks which involved, I assume, more than 500 drones, it looks like almost a thousand drones. Now this was happening during the day, not at night time, so it wasn't your typical drone show. And I don't really know what this was supposed to be. But anyway, there's drones in the air and then suddenly many of them start falling out of the sky. Now, to jump to conclusions, you think that this is jamming, uh, which I really honestly think that it was. And then there's also possibility of kill all. So that means that the operator decided to bring down all the drones. Could have been accidental, could have been on purpose. But I actually think that that's not the case at all. And, and there's an argument here to say that it wasn't jamming and that it wasn't the kill all. Let's watch the video. So we're seeing here that drones are starting to fall out of the sky. Now, not all the drones. Now, if there was jamming, many of them would be affected. Now, a closer look on this video, you can see the trees are moving very, very strongly. That tells me that there's very high winds there and putting up that amount of drones during high winds is very problematic. And I do think that the weather was playing a bit of a role here. Um, now, it's normal to do a wind test to check to see the strength of the wind and you'll obviously the operator will know how strong the wind should be for the drones and if it's too much then you shouldn't fly. What we're seeing here I think is drones that are not able to handle the wind possibly we are seeing them and, and the batteries not being able to last because they're fighting against the wind, they're trying to stay into position, fighting against the wind and then all of a sudden they lose power. And then they'll start to fall out the sky. So when they fall out the sky, they'll take others with them. So you have this domino effect of move one going and then so forth and so forth. And that's why I think we're seeing so many drones fall out the sky is because of this domino effect. I think that some of them were having battery issues because of the wind. And I think that that's the problem here. Now, there has been some audio which I've seen on other videos and I've had translated where they're saying that could the authorities turn off the jamming? Which meant that maybe they did think that there was jamming involved. But looking at the trees, looking looking at how strong the trees are, and look at the waves as well. So when when the water comes up, they're, you know, they're really splashing and, and, and they're really being sprayed. Um, that really tells me that this was an environment issue with the weather and nothing more. Um, now, we will probably know nothing here because, because the authorities will probably not release any information as to what actually happened. But I, I'm, I'm going out here and saying that this was not jamming. If it was jamming, it would have affected all the drones. All the drones would have, would have moved and not really fallen out of the sky because they would have tend to have flown away because they don't have positioning, but they would have the power to fly. 
these are not having any power to fly. So fighting against the wind is telling them that, you know, you know, you don't have any more power left, it's time to fall down. So I think that that is what's there. Now, that's something that the operator will know about because they will see that in the UI. They will have battery levels and they'll probably have lots of flashing for battery levels here. And I think that that's probably what, and we're probably not seeing that, but the authorities are probably saying it is jamming because they think that that's what it is because it's normal in China because we've seen this many, many times. That's what I think. Now, I'll leave a couple of links to that video and you can have a look at it yourself and you can actually hear the wind in in the video as well. It's very, very strong. So putting up with that amount of wind is, is not really the best. Uh, but that's my own opinion on this. It was wind, it was not jamming, and you have to be very careful whether you're flying your own drone or whether you're doing a drone show like this. But very, it's a unique perspective to see it in the daytime anyway, because this is something which uh, we haven't seen before. Anyway, thank you. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, we could do with the support, and of course, we'll make more videos about this subject and others later. We'll see you on the next video, and as always, fly safe.